Lynch says we should visit him at Fire Station 32. Who exactly is this guy, Lynch? Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut and you learn something about fires. Siren off for a reason? They see you coming. We came as soon as we could. Goddamn ruins are having a season for hell. Lynch. Biggs, you two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. This the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. recently serviced. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Al, if you say it so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve, and the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. Good, your regulator's in position. (laughs) 
Okay, I'll light your pilot and turn the gas. You pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. Don't do that again. Show? The next fire. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman character? The guy's a freak. He loves fires. He's the kind of guy that would like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. Respect for property. PD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. The main reason Santa's so jolly is that he knows where all the That cop caught the guy who did the Dahlia. They covered it all up. Some kind of big You wait. Five years from now, all our jobs will be done by robots. He plays the saxophone. Oh, and boy, can he get me going. <laughs> I swear, this town's going straight to hell. See him taking the other Palm Springs for the weekend. Is he in some kind of trouble? New and improved model. They'll be selling these like hotcakes. I didn't come to California to be a secretary. I'm gonna suck the hell out of you. Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Uh, let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design.
You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, we've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? It's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe, either. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years, and then it perishes. So the guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. You employ accredited mechanics to do this. We call them installers. Uh, technically, they're gas fitters. Installers, then. They know what they're doing, detective, if that's what you're trying to imply. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay, I'll get it for you. There, around a dozen of them. Housing business is going crazy at the moment. What the heck? This is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. I want to run it by R&I, cross-reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. Olive oil comes from olives. Where does baby oil come from? Operator, give me R&I. Through now. Well, the hell Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, Detective, run the names Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter. Kuttner, Robert, Limehouse, Albert, Manning, Franklin, Neves, Raymond, O'Brien, Thomas, Ryan, Matthew, Spurgeon, William, Varley, Reginald, Zurich, Stephen. Clemens, Walter, previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four-year jail term. Thanks. Ryan, Matthew, charged for contempt of court. Attempted murder. Plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. Your employment roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Desperate times indeed. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and 3rd. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and 1st Street. Varley, where is he? Beverly and Mariposa, currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do, but my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show him and keep quiet. Here. Happy now? Stick around, Mr. Rasick. Clemens is a fellow traveler.
Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. Ryan wants the world to be a better place, don't we all? Doesn't look like anything. The company went through thousands of these in the war, still got eaten alive. Barley has a problem with bugs. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Rasik? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. It gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Mind if I leave you to it? I got work waiting. Three birds. Clemens, Ryan, Varley. Where to, Phelps? Bartley's on the run. He might be packed. He's wanted for murder. We say we take the doubt out of the equation and let him have it. You nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. In 1917. You know, I never fired my weapon in my life duty. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. <laughs> it would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel. or I'll shoot. Come on, Barley. You can't keep running forever. All 
away from Michigan, Reginald? Why did you run from us, Varley? I'm gonna take a wild guess that you're the same Reginald Varley the Detroit police have an outstanding warrant on. How am I doing so far? I need a lawyer before I talk to any of you. Reginald Varley, you're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Detroit PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Until then, you're a guest of the city. Arson? You, you can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Be thankful we don't shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? Take him away, officer. Friends, quality is an American trait, and Americans... Are you Matthew Ryan? Who's asking? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson squad. Arson? You heard the man. Let's just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Hold it, Ryan. I said this. Bitch. Those are GI's backyards he's crashing through. The damage is only cosmetic. It's a one-man wrecking ball. Move in. I'll take out the van. Lay into his wheel well. Come on. He's going to kill those men. They'll get out of the way. Only if they hear him coming. Close in, Phelps. We need to take Ryan down before he hurts somebody. We gotta get this guy in a room before we can get an angle on him. This man has got to be stopped. Get in close and steer him off the tar. Put your hands in the air! Why did you run, Ryan? I was scared. You got a reason to be scared, Ryan? Matthew Ryan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of committing a series of arsons.
LAPD. We want some answers and we want them quick. Okay, okay. What's this all about? Just tell me what you want. You know Reginald Barley? No. Can't say I do. You have a real viper's nest that insta-heat, don't you? Arsonists, murderers, and communists. What's that got to do with me? You can't prove I'm behind all that. Look, I've been cooperative. How about letting me get back to work? You were licensed and worked for Instaheat? I contract for them. So what? Instead, hires arsonists, does it? I've worked as a fitter all my life. Put everything I had into that house. And my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded it in the settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work. And she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Sorry about the rouse, Clemens. You did the right thing. Do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. You and Ryan are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? Been following me to meetings? We found a pamphlet in your locker, Clemens. We can add your name to the register. Huack might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. He's got it in for the company. All right, Clemens. You're off the hook for the moment. Can I get back to work now? Let's get out of here, Phelps. He ain't our guy. We have three suspects. As much as I'd like it to be, Chapman, I think it's one of the other two guys. Let's get to the station and close this case. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put them down one round. I have two suspects. Phelps, you got nothing. Biggs, Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Varley's in two. Hey, Hopkins, you practicing your asshole routine again? 
Come on, Phelps. I'm praying that those prints come through so I can nail that son of a bitch. Save yourself some time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? I have no idea what you're talking about. Last chance, Ryan. You level with me or I'm sending you to the DA. A conviction for sedition and murder will do wonders for his re-election campaign. Nice try. But I got nothing to lose. You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a Model 70 heater? No, I don't. You expect me to believe that, Ryan? I could do it myself. Believe whatever you want, Flatfoot. You're part of the conspiracy. What can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nothing. Suburban is a front for your anarchist buddies. They're arranging for people to be out of town while you burn their houses down. Suburban? What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. You have a history of violence. I have no such thing. You're lying, Ryan. And how exactly are you going to prove that? You were charged with attempted murder, Ryan. It was a court case. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with it. What would you do? Which company? As Fastos Water Heater Company. That's it for the moment, Ryan. So I can go? Sure. As soon as your red friends storm the building and carry you out, you'll keep your seat until we decide how long to lock you up for, knucklehead. I think Ryan is our man. But procedure says we eliminate all of the suspects. Let's speak to Varley. What the hell is the LAPD up to these I don't care. I don't go in for letting gangsters off Scott Scott. We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this, and he'll write you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer? Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm flat out on new installations.
Why are you lying to me, Barley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> How can you prove that I was? Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. You got me there. Suburban, yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweetener. I think he played him, though. Because he still wouldn't sell. What would reversing the diaphragm of an Insta Heat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You out of your mind? Give me something, Farley, or I'll put it all on you. Hey, look, I can try to pin this on one of the other guys, but I'd just be making something up. We're done for now. So what happens? You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap, or you're staying here to answer for these arsons. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my sap. I gave his wife a tap. I said, all's fair in love and war. Buzz off. Your face is starting to annoy me. What a skunk. Walking out on his wife like that. I'm telling you, it'll never stick, and you'll get roasted. I want to make homicide. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. Reginald Barley, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. I'm no cold-blooded criminal. I could never bring up a whole family in their home. Is it no just keep your mouth shut and listen to me for a second? How is it you can bring no less than three suspects into my station, conduct extensive interviews, sift through mountains of evidence with Lynch and Pinker, and still manage to charge the wrong fucking guy? I took a chance on you, Phelps. People said I was crazy, and you made me look like a jerk. You may not be much of an arson investigator, but I hear you're merciless on the beat. Get going.
You're two blocks behind first and second. We have more buildings to clear. You know our orders, There's Sergeant. There's barely a building left standing or not on fire in your zone, Cole. Is your sector full of Japs? Questioning my command. The captain doesn't want anyone falling behind. Tell the captain we will join him when the job is done. Just give us the word, Sarge. We'll take care of him. He should be sectioned. That Jap lover's a fucking liability. We're here to kill Japs, not our own people. Starcross, son of a bitch. No one wants to serve under him. He's bad fucking luck. Can it? We have a job to do here. If I can live with it, you can too. 